The teen vaping epidemic is a huge concern. We know that. And with a recent study finding 29% of e-cigarette users actually started by the age of 14. A local high school senior would see her classmates vaping every day, even though it's not allowed at school. And as Everard Casimir reports from Gibraltar, instead of just asking them to stop, she had a better idea. Isabella is a senior here at Carlson High School, and she has seen students vaping not just in the bathroom, but in class sometimes as well. So she decided to teach those students a lesson and brought in someone very knowledgeable to help. The longer that addiction, the stronger the addiction becomes, and the more difficult it's going to be to stop. Today's lesson was all about the dangers of vaping from a local doctor. Students here heard firsthand the health risks. Have you ever vaped? I have, and I, I don't like it. The feeling of having a dependency on these things, it feels almost like you're weak. Isabella DeGroote actually invited Dr. Hassan Nemi to her school to share with these students the health risks. While she chose to quit, many of her classmates still regularly vape. I will like literally see them with a vape, like just standing in the bathrooms or they'll, they'll even go in the stalls or I, I've seen um, kids in the middle of a classroom like put their sleeve up to their mouth and hit a vape. I feel that it's my mission that I need to reach out to these kids, educate them about the ill effects. Dr. Nemi is the perfect person to speak to these students. He performed the first lung transplant on record on a 16-year-old for a vaping-induced injury. It's very painful to see a young, promising life that should have a long future and long, uh, big dreams, and, and they become helpful to society and contribute. To, to potentially lose that all that potential because of, of a habit of this nature. With somewhat graphic visuals of the potential damage to their lungs, Dr. Nemi hopes his talk resonates. Be wary of the consequences of things that you might do under peer pressure, uh, things that are not necessary, for example, vaping. This is not something that we need to maintain our normal life. Before you do anything, before you make any decision, know what you're doing. In Gibraltar, Everard Casimi, Local 4. The much-anticipated addition to One Campus Martius is a step closer to completion. Yeah, take a look at the new pictures released by Bedrock Detroit. The $95 million expansion is set to be complete in March. The venue will include a new event space that will host everything for corporate events to weddings. Reservations are now open for events taking place after April 1st. That'll be a sight to see for sure. Speaking of sights to see, here he is. The man. Bernie. The oh, mystery. I'm sorry. 